वेलकम ऑन वेदांतु दिस इज द स्प्रिंट टेक सेकंड सीरीज दैट वी आर डूइंग वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अप द वेदांतु मॉक पेपर डिस्कशन वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व टुडे क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 9 क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 आर ऑफ 1 मार्क्स ईच 6 7 8 एंड 9 आर ऑफ 2 मार्क्स ईच वी हैव कवर्ड 2018 बोर्ड पेपर एंड 2019 सैंपल पेपर इफ यू हैव नॉट वाच्ड दोस वीडियोस गो एंड वाच्ड देम अप सो दैट इट हेल्प्स यू आउट लॉट बिकॉज़ ऑल द कांसेप्ट्स आर रिपीटिंग ओके दिस इज द सेम पैटर्न काइंड ऑफ पेपर सो द प्रॉब्लम्स विल बी ऑन द सेम कांसेप्ट so you should watch that videos and remember to download the vedantu app so it can help you a lot in your studies let's move to the next part and let's start solving the vedantu mock paper question number 1 what does this say this says that find the lcm of 96 and 360 by using fundamental theorem of arithmetic that is called an fta so it just implies prime factorization and nothing else so take this number 97 and just divide it by 2 continuously till you cannot divide it by 2 If you cannot, then go for three, then go for five, then go for seven. So I'm not saying anything. Just see this thing, because you are much aware. You are smarter people, I know, and you won't find this difficult at all. Yes, we got this part. Now what we have to do next? The prime factorization of the other number. Same way, two, then three, then five. Keep on doing that, and do not stop for anyone, because this is one marks question. Yes. Finally, what you have two, 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 and three, 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 five. So you have this three, three, and then there is a five. So remember what you have to do: write the factors correctly. Just count them so that you do not forget them. One, two, three, four, five, and one, three. So you get two, two, two into two into two into three. What is the next number? Three sixty. See, this is a very simple. If they have given you three, I'm giving you a condition now. If they have given you three numbers, then it would have been a trickier. Because then you have to see the common in two terms. Okay, right now you are just having two, so that you that is being saved. Okay, the time is being saved there. There are three twos, two threes, and one five. Now just take the common part and continue. So what you have, take the common part. What do you have? This one two common, one two common, one two common. Then you then you have a three and then nothing common. So just write this thing up, and once you have to write it, remember this. Okay. So what is the LCM? The LCM is very simple: two into two into two into three. Copy paste the other terms: two into two into three into five. Remember that you have to take two and five common because two into five is ten. Yes, that's why you are smart. Good. So multiply all the terms. You get two to the four, two to the eight, three to the twenty-four, two to the forty-eight. Remember these are together: forty-eight, three to the one forty-four into ten is one four four zero. Write it as your answer and move ahead. See one marks question. Don't waste time. Two marks question. Take away time. Four marks question. Invest time because they are lengthy and obviously you will make more mistakes there. Let's do this thing. So it is form of AP. First three terms. So in these questions there is a consecutive term formula and it is very simple. Remember there are three terms A, B, C in AP. If they are consecutive terms, the common difference is same. This we know. So what do you get? B minus A S C minus B. Now bring B is there and take A there. So you get two B is equals to A plus C. How you will remember this? Two times the middle term is sum of first and last term. Now what you get? Two times the middle term is sum of first and last term. Fine. Now what you get here? Six Y plus ten. Is equals to minus one plus one cancelled eight y. So you get two y is equals to ten. So y is equals to five. Isn't it simple? If you use this formula, it is very simple. If you apply something else, it will take more time. Otherwise, if you have better formula, please mention in the comment box. I am ready to hear that. No worry about it. Let's read the third problem. A die is thrown once. Once. What is the probability that it shows a number greater than four? You want a number which is greater than four, and you have thrown a dice. This means. The sample space has only six possible outcomes: one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not shakuni pasa. It's a simple pasa. A pasa means dice. So now what you have? The event A says the event A says just simple thing that it should be greater than four. Greater than four what means? It means it either can be five or six. It's not equal to. Remember this thing. So it can be five or it can be six. Remember the probability formula. I'm giving you a formula which is used in class 11th onwards, not for 10th. For tenth also, it is good because it is eleventh subsidiary. Now you know the formula is number of elements in your favorable event upon number of elements in the total events. How many sample space total events? So you have 
5 and 6, 2 even, 2 numbers and there are 6 numbers. So this is 1 by 3. This is our answer. Move on. This is simple probability. Why we will waste time here? Do you, do you want to waste time here? No. So don't waste it. Let's take up the new number. New question basically. Question 4. Two numbers are such that the equation this has minus 6 as a sum of the roots and the product of the roots also. They have not given the new number as the product of the roots. This is very important question. Why it is important? Try to understand my point now. See, the thing is, what happens now? When they write one number, that is the sum and the product, then they write like this only. So do not think there is a misprint here, which we think generally, because in the paper, people tell us, Sir, they have not mentioned that. Sir, we should wait for CBSE. It should revise it. No, it will not revise it. It's the correct question. You remember the sum of the roots is given by minus b upon a. Here it will be minus 3 upon p. But sum of the roots is minus 6. So minus 6 is minus 3 upon p. Simplify this, p is equals to 1 by 2. Now use the same way and get for the q part. Now you need to find the product of the roots. So what is product of the roots? Alpha beta. It is equals to c upon a. So c upon a is 2q upon p. But alpha beta is what? It is the same. That is what I am telling you continuously. You are understanding my point. So it is minus 6 only. So it is 2q by p. But what is p? Half. Do not put right now. Please do not put it right now. It's half. It is confusing. Cancel this thing. It is minus 3. Now understand what you have to do. You have to write q is equals to minus 3p and then you have to put the value of p as 1 by 2. Please do it like that. So you do not multiply 3 to 2 which we generally do. <laughs> it rhymes. Right, man. So minus 3 by 2. You hope, I hope you understand this point. Yeah? Let's take up the next question. Why to worry about this? Oh, it's a, such a simple question. See, obviously the paper has been designed so that one mass question seems easy. So they must have kept two mass question trickier. So do not waste your time. That's what I'm saying right now. Tan x is equals to this, this, this. Then find the value of x. You just have to put the value of each angle and trigonometric ratio basically. So tan x is equals to sin 45 is 1 by root 2, cos 45 is 1 by root 2, sin 30 is 1 by 2. What do you get? 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. What do you get? 1. When is tan 1? Correct. 45 degree. So x is 45 degree. That's the answer. And continue. Keep on doing on. Don't worry. Don't panic. If the surface areas of two spheres are given in the ratio, find the ratio of the radar. You know the formula for surface area of two spheres? Yes. They are 4 pi r square. So write r1 square by r2 square because they are the ratios given as 9 by 16. Cancel 4 pi. You have r1 by r2 whole square. Yes, it is very easy. I can see that you all understand this thing because r1 by r2 is nothing but 3 by 4. That is the answer and move on. How easy the question is. You understand? You just want to check whether you know the formula or not. Question number 1 has been done. One mass question has been done. These are two mass question now. Now see, they will take your time. Find the area of the segment of a circle of radius this, when the angle of corresponding sector is this. They are not giving you the, what I can say. They are not giving you, at any point, they are not giving you the angle, or what I can say, they are not giving you, they are not giving you the sector area to find. They are giving you the segment area to find, which requires a lot of time. So what you have to do in this, make this circle up, Remember to make this circle and then you have to make a sector. I'll just do it for you so that you, oh my God, what I'm doing? Just a minute. So this will give me this point join and then I have a this point join. Is it correct? I hope you understand this. If you understand this, just consider this is 120 degree. Although I know it doesn't look like 120 degree, but it's fine. Nah? Just understand. I'm just drawing a rough diagram. So AB is this. This is the center O. What they are asking? They are asking you to find this segment area, which can only be found if you have the triangle area subtracted from the sector area. So OAB, P sector area, you subtract and like triangle area should be subtracted from it. Now the problem here is the triangle area. Now you have to use trigonometry to get it fast. Try to understand my point. Drop a perpendicular. Okay, so all of you what you have to do, you have to drop a perpendicular and now you have this point say C. Now what you have to do next is find this OAC. Remember it is a perpendicular, it will bisect the chord and obviously we know this angle should be equal because these were equal. So 30, 30 degree. I have this 30, I am happy. Now I can find AC and OC because I know radius is 40. 
yes it will take time try to understand my point now so let us consider so tan 30 uh, will not work because the problem is you have to apply something else sin 30 hypotenuse is given now perpendicular and base both are unknown so sine is perpendicular by hypotenuse so I have 1 by 2 is equals to OC by OA is 14 so OC is equals to 7 centimeter okay so what is OC OC is 7 centimeter now remember you have to also find AB but before you find that AC understand my point huh? so now AC you have to find so use cos 30 is equals to base by hypotenuse so you have root 3 by 2 is equals to I do not know and this is 14 sorry if it is not written and this is 7 root 3 remember you are going to find for AB AB is double of AC because these two are equal sides so AB is equals to 2 AC which is equals to 14 root 3 okay I hope you understand this point now so AB is 14 root 3 and OC is given as 7 centimeter fine now what you have to do next is find the area of the triangle OAB which you can find and the sector area which you can find I'm going to change the page because I do not want to create mess I literally I don't like mess at all fine so I do not create that mess in the writings also so area of segment is equals to area of sector OAPB minus area of triangle OAB now this is the formula theta by 360 into pi r square minus area of triangle OAB is half base into height so base is AB height is OC I remember it from that page so theta is 120 by 360 into pi is 22 by 7 radius is 14 into 14 minus half AB is I do not know now I do not know now okay I'll just change the page and check AB is 14 root 3 and OC is 7 AB is 14 root 3 and OC is 7 now you can do one thing you can cancel the term so 121 ja 3 it come and uh, this is nothing is left so 7 1 ja 7 2 ja will cancel 2 1 ja 2 7 ja will come up 49 it will be 49 correct so now you will have uh, nothing is going okay let us check whether we have got the correct value 7 is correct okay I just I just want to check a minute just give me a minute please I don't want to do a wrong thing here okay it's correct I think so fine it's fine so you get 22 into 2 into 14 divided by 3 so 14 to the 28 28 to the 56 56 into 11 I have told you 616 by 3 minus 7 7 is the 49 root 3 you can now use your common sense if they have said it root 3 okay sorry nothing is given so you have to put the value and please mention in the comment box your answer no, don't worry I read your answer okay so just simplify this and tell me what is the answer take root 3 as 1.73 and solve okay do it for me and in the comment box mention your answers let's take up the next question question number 8 that is the segment area we can find now okay if a cos theta plus b then prove that this this kind of question I have done before also and I've told you the way to it you just consider that this value is equals to k and then you find that this value k is the same value like this okay simple yeah remember this thing now now first you have to remember the first equation what you have to do it to it you have to square this that is necessary I have solved a similar question like this in the previous paper so don't worry first you have to take this equation and square it whatever you get write it a square cos square theta plus b square sine square theta plus 2 a b sine theta cos theta you guys you are just multiplying so you can write coin first sine first and cos second is equals to c square write it as your first equation and leave it now take the second equation as k equals to k and then you square it again so a sin theta minus b cos theta is equals to k and then you write it again so you write let here you should write let here okay now you square it so a sin theta minus b cos theta whole square is equals to k square fine it's easy you know so now you get a square sine square theta plus b square cos square theta minus 2ab sine theta cos theta is equals to k square. Fine. Now what do you have to do next? Just add these two equations. Try to understand I'm going to compress the steps. I need to compress the steps. When you are going to add this thing, remember one thing. a square is common. 
cos square and sin square will add in the brackets but it will become 1 so it will be only a square plus b square sin square b square cos square when they will add what will happen sin square plus cos square will come which will 1 so I'm just adding 1 and 2 so you can write add 1 and 2 okay now see 2 ab sin theta cos theta with minus it will cancel out of course now c square plus k square will come up do you notice what will be k square it will be a square plus b square minus c square this implies what will be c plus minus of root of i think you have caught it what do you say isn't it yes we have we have yes we have okay let's take up the last question for today then question number nine it should be small because we have done two big questions let's see find that if the tenth term of an ap is given first term is given find the sum of 15 terms that is that is okay ap is okay anyhow ap if it is not in m and n you know that question the trickier questions where they are in m and n they are difficult okay so let's do this if the tenth term of an ap is 47 what will you get a plus 90 equals to 47 and the first term is 2 so a is 2 just put the value of a here 2 plus 90 is equals to 47 90 is equals to 45 d is equals to 5 yes i hope you understand this now find the sum of its 15 terms you want to find the sum of 15 terms now obviously sum of n terms formula is n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d use this formula to find the sum of 15 terms 15 by 2 2a will be 4 i'm directly putting the values okay 15 minus 1 and d i have found we have just found d is 5 put it now what will you get 15 by 2 into 15 minus 1 is 14 14 5 is 70 70 plus 4 is 74 so you get 15 into 37 just rough calculation do it 37 into 15 so 5 in the 35 3 5 15 3 18 7 3 5 5 5 oh the answer is quite cool 5 5 5 5 yes we have got the sum of the first 15 terms done see this is an easy question compared to the previous ones where trigonometric see the last question I what I did now this is a very important question I'm telling you this is very important question they have a like a love with this question see we are see like li like this question are too much they give this question in any one of the sets they always give it so I'm just thinking like this question is a very important question this kinds of question where you assumed k so try to do these kinds of question much and this is an easy question. So this completes our first session of 6 p.m. When we will meet in the 8 p.m. session, we will take up from question number 10 onwards. Fine. I hope you are enjoying these sessions. If you are really enjoying and you are understanding the tricks that I am applying, the 2b is equal to a plus c kind of things. If you do not know, then I am saying if you know it, then why I will say it. But if you do not know and if you find it's good, just press the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe this channel. Otherwise, you'll miss such a beautiful thing happening here, isn't it? So we'll see you in the next session. Bye-bye.